With a changing climate and environmental degradation, we need to be able to base our decisions on high quality data that's reliable and easy to use. That's why the Open Earth Monitor Cyber Infrastructure aims to improve the uptake of environmental information. To understand it better, let's explore the name of the project bit by bit. To start in the middle, Earth Monitor is the heart of the project. We're building high-tech tools to track environmental changes that monitor progress towards different policy goals, like the ones set out in the European Green Deal and the UN Sustainable Development Goals. We use Earth observation data to create maps and visualizations that show what's really going on in our environment and the effectiveness of different climate adaptation and ecosystem restoration strategies and where we need to focus our future efforts. For example, we're creating tools to monitor reforestation, biodiversity, flood and extreme weather risk, air quality, and more. Then the developers of each project partner with an organization doing the work on the ground in what we call a use case. Since we're trying to create products that people will actually use and that are accessible to practitioners outside of this high-tech data science community, this step is critical. Our users get to see the products in their early stages then give us feedback on user experience, accuracy, and how we can improve. We then take their feedback, implement it, and iterate in a process of user-driven design. One of our products is a reforestation planning tool for Europe. The developers of this tool created a map that shows which tree species can be planted where, which supports the EU Green Deal goal of planting 3 billion trees by 2030. As a use case, they're going to collaborate with the European Forest Institute, which will use the tool to develop planting strategies. Then they'll give us feedback that will help us localize the information for smaller areas. Maybe they can also help us add functionality to the tool so that a future version could include features like the survival rate of trees planted or cost optimization. Instead of us predetermining the exact end product, we really listen to our partners' feedback to make sure we create a tool that's going to be useful for practitioners and policymakers. When we talk about a cyber infrastructure, we're not only referring to the hardware and the software of a computing system, but there's a larger ecosystem that allows these technologies to function. That includes a broad community of actors from software developers, data scientists, users of the tech, and other stakeholders from connected sectors. And that brings me to the last part of the project, which is actually the first part of our name, OPEN. To accelerate access and use of environmental data, we're committed to open science. This doesn't just mean that our software is free to use. It refers to a deeper concept of co-development and building community and resilience around these solutions. That the source code is visible so that people outside of our project can contribute to it and maintain it. And it means that businesses and other users can take these tools, build on top of them, and tailor them to their needs. By contributing to an open science community, we're reaching more people faster with higher quality data tools to build sustainable long-term solutions.